Gary Cale, Chelsea at Premier League champions. How good does that sound? Yeah, it sounds, uh, it sounds amazing. It sounds great. Let's go back to last season. Uh, obviously, we won it at West Brom. How good was your ball over to Asbella for the crossing? <laughs> I'm glad you appreciated it for, for what it was. Absolute vision. Yeah, uh, yeah, it wasn't my best strike, was it? But no, I tried to play that off for a bit, but uh, there's no chance I was getting away with that. Exactly. I think obviously, it was the shank shot. <laughs> How were the celebrations afterwards? Uh, it must have been amazing. Yeah, it was, it was great. Um, I think because the the pressure was building towards the end of the season, you know, we kept we kept winning, we kept kept getting the results. Tottenham kept getting the results, and almost, you know, obviously it was going to the wire. And then we realised, obviously, at the West Ham game when Tottenham uh, lost, that we had an opportunity. So it was just a matter of taking us as quickly as we can, because, you know, as soon as we could physically get our hands on that trophy, the better. And to do it with a couple of games to spare was uh, was a great feeling. So the celebrations was amazing, and the changing room after was obviously crazy, as you'd imagine. Uh, you know, in the following couple of days was was good as well. The Champions League, great to be back there, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing to be back there. You want to be back on a big stage, and and uh, last year was annoying when you seen the games. You know, you you at home watching the games, yeah. you're thinking now, like since I've been at the club, you're involved in them games. You know, you're not sat at home watching them. Um, so we feel that we're back where we belong, and it, for players and, and the fans, I'm sure it's very exciting to be back in that competition. You're now the new Chelsea captain. Congratulations, Thank you. mate. Must be buzzing about that. Yeah, of course. Um, it's a huge honour for me. I think, you know, when you look at the size of the club and and the people who've gone before yeah, you, it's, it's a great achievement for, for me personally in my career. Uh, you know, a big responsibility. And uh, that's something that I feel very honoured for. And, you know, I enjoyed having the armband with the, the times I've had it, you know, previous to last season a couple of times. And then obviously for a majority of last season, it was very enjoyable. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a fantastic honour um, and a proud moment for me in my career. Following on from JT, captain, leader, legend. Big boots to fill, Gary. <laughs> it's huge, and it? it's, it's uh, yeah, huge, huge boots to fill. I think the way that I don't approach it or the way that I have approached it, you know, is, is, is to set that aside. I think you have to respect the fact of what John's done at the club. You have to respect, um, you know, everything. You, you look at his goal scoring record as a centre back, you look at the amount of trophies he's, he's won, you know, the amount of years he's played at the top. It, it's, it's very difficult to, to come in and try and say, yeah, I'm the new captain, I'm going to do this and that. You've got to set that aside, you know, he's, he's a huge figure at this football club and he always will be. And I was joking the other day saying, you know, for, for the moment that he pops back in, when he does pop back in and say hello, he'll be captain for the day that he's he in. He takes your arm back Yeah, off give you. me that back. <laughs> yeah, I'm having yeah. that for the day. And, you know, you have to, you have to give him that sort of, of respect. Um, so he's a, whoever was going to take the armband when he left is, is a massive, you know, massive responsibility. But at the same time, you have to be yourself. You have to be the way that you, you play, the way that your personality is. You know, just because you have the armband, nothing changes for me in terms of what I do on and off the pitch. He's going to be, I'm going to be the same guy. So hopefully that'll be good enough. I love his Instagram post saying you're going to need a bigger armband because you've got some guns, haven't you? Look at these bad boys. They're all right, aren't they? Which way's the beach, Gary? <laughs> no, uh, yeah, I seen that as well. So uh, he always used to, he always used to say that to me. But no, I've been in the gym a little bit. I know, yeah. So. Hang on. A bit you skinny, be... but yeah, my arms are okay. <laughs> <Little> Popeye arms. <laughs> Will you be lifting the trophy again come May? Who knows? Um, I think at the minute there's any of six teams that could possibly lift the trophy, you know, maybe more. Um, so it's going to be tough. But we have to have that as an aim. We have to have that as an ambition. Um, you know, otherwise, you know, we come in, we come in daily to train and to work hard for games. And if you haven't got that ambition and goal, then you know, there's no point coming in. That's what we, as a, as a club at like Chelsea, you know, as as the other big clubs, that's what they they strive to achieve. We managed to do it last year and you know we know how difficult it is. So you know, we have to work extra hard. We have to work even harder than last year um, to make sure we're competing. Top man. Thank you. Thanks mate. Thank Good you very much. Cheers. Cheers.